Okay, this is the 740i that I just got yesterday. I want to talk to you guys about why I'm doing this. I am. That's interesting. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting one of those. Anyway, so this is a 2012, and uh, it's not going to have the issues because I've noticed something. All of the 2012 Acras, the 2013, um, the later stuff, I've not had the issues that I had with the older cars. I had a few age-related repairs, but not the thing that I would have. There we go. So... This is a lot of room right here. I mean, you got room to stretch out in the back. Soft closed doors. And you know what's funny? I test drove another Porsche yesterday. And this, the Porsche was a V8. It was a... I almost got the panorama or whatever it's called but this has a v6 twin turbocharged v6 and it's faster and well it feels faster to me than the porsche did and once again i'm learning how to buy these cars because uh essentially uh, my little feeling said don't buy it and i just listened to that little voice i didn't buy it then I test drove this and I was like, okay, this is the ticket. And this is what we have. I want you to do this exercise for me. I want you to sit down today and write out your goals. And I want you to say, write out your goals. Where do you want to be three years from now? Three years from now. Write it down. Do you, if you're in an apartment, you want to be in a house, say, I want to be in the house three years from now. Very, very powerful exercise if you do it. I remember years ago, I was living in East Point, first time I ever did this. I sat down, I thought about some things. This is when I was starting GC Solutions. And then, um, I sat down on a Sunday and I wrote three sheets of goals, things I wanted to happen. And then, you know, life kind of got busy and I actually forgot about that. And when I was moving, you know, when you move, you start purging stuff, finding stuff that you haven't seen in years. I found that sheet of goals and 90% of the things on that sheet of goals had, I had accomplished. And I had, you know, just the simple act of sitting down, writing out your goals, projects your future. Because when you sit down and you actually think about your goals, you activate something in your mind. I don't even know. Uh, your, well, I actually I do. It's your subconscious mind. You activate your subconscious mind. And you start bringing those things into fruition. And um, <clears throat> everything on that sheet of goals I've accomplished, 90% I accomplished in a year. And then <clears throat> there was a, about that 10% took like two, three years because they were bigger goals. But I want you to sit down write out where you want to be because this this is very very important and we'll be talking about this in the corporate papers which you can get in get in now before the price goes up <clears throat> um there's a link there's a promo code and we have a webinar today at 5 p.m so go ahead get in there links below and I want you to think because like I said in the other er, earlier video um, 
that people are trying to do complicated, significant, big changes really, really quickly. Too quick, too quick. Because essentially, here's the thing. If you sit down and like, you wanna do what I call their, a transformational goal. And what would be a transformational goal? You're currently making $38,000 a year and you wanna make 100K a year. That is a transformational goal because you're gonna to have to transform you as a person, transform your skill set, and transform your money meter. Now, what do I mean by money meter? You have a money threshold and you're unaware of it. You're like, what? You have a money threshold. You have a certain amount of money that you're used to or accustomed to. And when you go below that limit, that threshold, it gets problematic. And when you go beyond that threshold, it gets problematic. Most folks don't know this. Why do you think that most of America only makes thirty-some thousand dollars a year? It's comfortable. You don't have to do much. You don't have to be exceptional. You don't have, I mean, essentially you can work 35, 38 thousand dollars your job and not really stress yourself be off every weekend, um, live your life the way that you want to. You really can. And most people's money threshold is very low. For you to expand your threshold, you have to expand yourself. I'll give me an example. I went through a transformation from the boarding house to Rent-A-Crate. While at Rent-A-Crate, I moved to East Point and I went from another transformation from East Point to Stone Mountain. Then I went to another transformation from Stone Mountain. Well, actually, there was East Lake and then East Lake to Stone Mountain then from Stone Mountain to Sandy Springs. And this is something else about, you know, transformation. I remember I used to work at this gym and when I first signed up, I felt very uncomfortable in the gym because this was the type of gym where people would spend two to $3,000 for clothes to work out in. Everyone had on their little workout outfits, their little suits, their little stuff. And I just had on, you know, t-shirt and shorts. And I felt very uncomfortable. And this is when I first moved to Sandy Springs because I wasn't accustomed to being around a lot of people with money. Just what? Um, you know, there was some times I felt uncomfortable. I felt like a fish out of the water because I was going through a transformation process. I was growing as a person that was expanding. And I went back to that gym a few years later, about five or six years later, and I didn't feel uncomfortable at all because I had now become one of those people because I had been living in the neighborhood a while. I, I got accustomed to it. Like, give you an example. And this is going to, this, this, for those of you who moved from a small house to a large house, you may understand. My last house before this house was maybe 2,300 square feet, three levels. This house is 5,000 square feet, 2,700 square feet bigger. I remember the first time I went from the master bedroom downstairs into the basement. It felt like a little, cause it, it was, it felt, I felt that walk. Cause it, it was like, I wasn't used to that. Now I've gotten used to it. it you know, it, it's, it's a transformation. You got to go through a personal transformation to get the money. This is why most of the YouTube ads you see, most of that stuff is garbage because they don't talk about transformation. They don't talk about money threshold. 
They don't talk about action. They don't talk about the real things you need to be successful. So you got to go through a personal transformation and that's going to take time. Like when you're sitting down and you're writing out your goals today, and when I'm talking about your goals, I'm talking about everything. If you're single and you want to be married, I know many people will disagree with me, but I feel that you should put that on your goal sheet. That if you want to be married, it's like, I want to marry and put right on the sheet what type of man or woman you want to meet. When I was doing the Craigslist protocols, this is something that I consistently did. I would write down who I wanted to meet and then I would write the ad. I would write a goal of who I wanted to meet, what I wanted to show up, and two to three days later, that would, that's, because essentially, here, here's the thing. You ever notice like when someone is staring at you and you look, you see, we all have antennas. We all have these internal antennas. And once you fine tune your antenna, oh man, the things you can pull off. Because what you will do is your antenna will start broadcasting to the antenna of the person that you want. Like if you're a single woman, I'm about to go anti-Kevin Samuels. If you're a single woman, you're good looking, and if you write now, I wanna marry a rich man. I wanna marry a tall, attractive, rich man who treats me well, who thinks I'm gold. Seriously, you will be shocked at what that would do for your life. Because essentially what you're doing is you are programming your antenna and you're broadcasting out what you want. You're programming your antenna and you're broadcasting out what you want. And then, like I said, how many times have you felt someone staring at you and you turn around and they were staring at you? That's proof positive that we all are hooked in. We all have antennas. We're all broadcasting. And But here's the thing. Most people are unintentionally broadcasting. I will give you an example. Like, this happened to me before I really understood what was going on. Before the, the book I read, The Power of His Subconscious Mind. I used to be a, I'm a speeder, right? And I used to be terrified when cops would pull up behind me. And the thing that I did not want to happen, because I was focused on it, and I was concentrating on it, would happen. And once I learned how to control my broadcasting, things stopped happening. I just told you something that would make you a millionaire if you know, understand how to put it together. And I used to get tickets all the time and stuff. And essentially, only way I get a ticket now if I'm just not paying attention. I have literally passed a cop doing 120. Didn't get pulled over. Because I've learned how to control my broadcasting. And this is something that I got really good with with the Craigslist protocols. Very, very good at. And once you go ahead, like if you're single and you want to be in a loving relationship, there's two things you need to do. You need to go ahead and decide what you want. Very important that you make a decision on what you want. As long as you want to keep your options open, you're not going to get any, you're going to get any and everything. You, you would get trash, you would get good things, you would get any and everything in your life. But it's like, I want this, if you're a single woman, I want a rich, I want a, a good looking husband. That's the first part of your programming. You send your antenna and starts broadcasting that message out. Then, the second thing you need to do is work on becoming the type of woman that a man like that would want. If you're fat, lose weight. I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you, I've not had a fat girlfriend ever. <laughs> Even at my heaviest, I've never had a fat girlfriend. So if you want to get a rich man, a go-getter, you need to be feminine, you need to be respectable, and you need to stop fucking everyone else. Let me say this again. You cannot be out there being 
community property and then expect to get a man of high caliber, high net worth to lock it down. Because it's like, you community property. I'm not about to pay top dollar for bargain basement goods. So you gotta keep it, you gotta keep, you gotta keep your coochie in your pants. But essentially with the broadcasting, like, okay, this is one of the things that I do, and this this is an exercise. I wake up in the morning and I, I've started getting back into scripted days and essentially give you a good example. Last week, last Friday, I rented out five cars. Now I had two rented out on Thursday. They were picking up Friday. You know what I did? I went to script the days. So I said, I'm renting out the Porsche. I'm renting out this. I'm renting, and they went out. Because I start broadcasting to the people who wanted those things. This is very powerful. This could change your life once you get a handle on it. And I know it's some of that woo-woo stuff. I know you're like, he on that woo-woo stuff. Woo-woo. Woo-woo. I'm woo-woo into the bank. Woo woo. And once you start programming you, yourself and start broadcasting your true intentions, what you truly want, your life will change. And I, I remember when I first started meditating, what a life changing event that was because, uh, like right now, I'm activated. And what do I mean by that? Uh, typically, you know, the YouTube me. I, I would get up at 9, 9.30, uh, be in the office. My assistant would show up at 10. That's all changed because I've been activated. I've gone back into some of my old habits. Uh, this morning, I got up at like 6 on a Sunday. Just woke up. And uh, I got my little Apple Watch on. And I'm burning a lot of calories because I'm active. I'm moving. Uh, I'm making moves. I'm doing things. This is calling money into my life, being active. This is why most of the YouTube garbage and crap doesn't work because it dictates that you can be passive, that you can be static and money, 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 money flows to activity. Money doesn't flow to you sitting on your ass. It, it just doesn't work like that. I want you to think back in your life, the time you made a lot of money, and then I want you to think about what were you doing? And I guarantee you, you were busy. I guarantee you were not just chilling, laid back. You were busy. And this is one of the things. Because like right now, I see a whole bunch of money coming in my life right now. Bunch of money because I'm broadcasting. I, I'm, I'm broadcasting. Cause, and the broadcasting, the bro, I, I'm going to be honest with you. The broadcasting alone can bring you change that can bring you change but when you pair it with action it happens 10 times faster so I, i'm about to say something that don't sound crazy like my best month was like 400 um 400 000. that was my best month with what i got going on in the future, I see $100,000 days. Now, I just told you my best month was $400,000. That wasn't $100,000 a day. I see $100,000 days. Because essentially, um, I'm getting back into it. And I see crazy stuff in the future because I'm, I'm broadcasting. I'm broadcasting. I'm taking action. I'm setting goals. I'm doing scripted days because you know I kind of really just stopped doing this because you know I got I got comfortable. Now I'm activated and I'm active, and I went right back to the stuff that I knows that puts money in my pocket, like corporate papers. I've I've already had a forty thousand dollar day, forty thousand dollars in one day. And that, that's funny, you know, and why I say that, it's got, I got people who make $40,000 a month trying to educate me versus sitting there lame ass down and understanding I'm your daddy, I know more than you, I'm bigger than you, I'm greater than you, I'm better than you, 
and I will show you receipts and I'll show you proof of that. But if you feel that you could corner educate me when you I make more in the day than you make in the month, hey, you boo boo the fool. But once again, there's a lot of people who watch this channel who understand what's going on, who appreciate the content. I appreciate you people. And we're going to start pushing out the moist parade. We're going to start um, getting rid of the clowns and the sycophants and the suckers and the punks. We're going to start cooking with gas because essentially we're on a mission here. And what I just gave you, if you just sit down today, work on your goals. I mean, take a few hours and really think about your life. Really, really think about where you want to be in the future and write down exactly what you want. If you want to live in the beach house, I want to live in the beach house. I would do that at a five or 10 year goal. Uh, put that on your sheet of paper. But my three-year goals, you can triple your income, quadruple your income in three years. You can do that. Um, write it down, because essentially, writing your goals down provides you a map. It provides a map. That's the first thing, okay? Provides you a map. And then, the activity is you're walking on the map. See, your subconscious mind needs direction. And when you write your goals down, you're saying to your subconscious mind, this is what I want. And your subconscious mind starts broadcasting your intentions to the world. And then all of a sudden, your intentions hook up with people with similar needs. Like essentially, um, once you get a full understanding, because we'll be talking about this some more, <clears throat> of the broadcasting and the goals and the activity, you can do fundamental, at the human baseline level, fundamental transformation. Fundamental transformation. And I, I, I'm, I'm like, there's a reason that I am 54, but I look the way that I do. Because I don't really have a lot of stress. Most stress I've experienced in the last 15 years was this car rental business. That's the most stress. And now that's subsiding. But essentially, what we want to do is learn how to set goals, how to align our broadcasting with our intentions, and to take action. And that's what we're going to be talking about in the corporate papers. But today, sit down, write your goals out. If you're single and you want to be in a loving, committed relationship, put on the, your, your goals. I want to be in a loving and committed relationship. Then write, I will become the person that will get that relationship. It's very interesting. I was at this class I had to take and they were talking about why people were really successful. There's a, there's two group of people who get married for the second time. There's one group that just goes ahead and get divorced and they'll remarry and get divorced three, four or five times. And there's another group of people who get married once, learn all their lessons and they get married again and they become the best husband. They become the best wife. And that second group has changed and transformed at a fundamental level where the second group, they're still the same old yard bird. Same old Yarbert. So when you transform at a fundamental human level, you unlock your greatness. You unlock, like, you, and th this is how come, uh, th this is why I say I don't worry about minimum wage. Because when you unlock your great greatness, you will get paid what you want to get paid. You will have more money than you need. If you unlock your greatness, but as long as you stay regular and normal, don't try to do anything, try to be static, 
being passive, yeah, you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. But once you, you want to unlock your greatness, write your goals down, start your broadcasting correctly, take action, and be grateful. I am grateful for all of the wonderful, loving, kind, smart people who come to this channel. Because there's way more of y'all than the punks and the moist men who, who, they don't actually hate me. They hate themselves because they know they have a feeling because th this is where it is. They know that they could be who they want to be if they had the right information and they don't know what the right information is. And they see me providing receipts, driving BMWs, driving Porsches, plural Porsches, driving BMWs, living in a million dollar house, talking mad shit here on YouTube and backing it up. And that, that, that creates a certain level of jealousy because essentially this creates, I, I've got, my personality is either people really, really like me or they really can't stand me. There ain't no middle ground with me. There's no ambivalent like, oh, you no, know, it's like, I really like this dude. I can't stand this mofo. That's where uh, I be popping up. So I want you guys to do that. And also get in the corporate papers. You can learn how to get your corporate entity. You're going to learn how to hire and manage people, which is a huge part about building an enterprise that pays you $250,000 a year. The average small business owner only makes 70 because they're the business. They're the business. I'm going to teach you how to set up a business, subsystems, protocols, all of this. And this is going to take time. This is not like you're not going to do this in a week or two. This is going to take months. This is why I say the next three years. You can have create fundamental change for yourself, for your family in the next three years that would literally blow your mind. This is coming from someone who used to be homeless. I was once homeless, didn't have a place to stay had bad credit, had no money in the bank. Today, I got more privilege than the average white man. Let me say that again. I got more privilege than the average white man. I'll tell you a little story. Years ago, I was at, you know, I used to go to Landmark Diner in Buckhead because I love the Western omelet. And I would go in there and there was this girl, I was going to try to date her because she was cute. And one day I went in there and I know she wasn't there anymore. And I was like, and I asked about it. I was like, where'd she go? And he's like, we had to get rid of her. I was like, really? Because she's very, very chatty. And she's like, yeah. She's like, she would just say inappropriate things to people like yourself who are business owners. I never told this guy I owned a business. We never had one conversation about me owning the business. He knew because he worked there and he saw business owners every day what a business owner looked like and how a business owner, he knew, he knew based upon my behavior that I was a business owner, even though I never told this guy I owned a business. He knew because of the way that I walked, the way that I talked and the way that I acted. That's personal transformation at a wholesale level. So go below, give me the corporate papers because once you get into the mindset course, we're going to be talking about a lot of this, a whole bunch of this, a bunch of this. So I will see you guys in the next one. And the price of the corporate papers goes up tonight, 12 a.m. And for you folks in California, I'm going to add three hours because I always get this. It's like, what about us in California? So I'll be asleep when, the, when, it, when it expires. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later.